Yes, I'm men, men, men. Blah, 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 call it Jay. Uh, right now we're doing an exhibition painting with Blade. Blade is like, you know, he's the king of graffiti. This piece, um, piece of letters that I created, it's a semi-marshmallow top with a bubble letter bottom, and these letters uh, I created with Comet back in uh, 1975. So I'm actually trying to bring some of the, the old flavor uh, of the graph to the UK so they can actually see some parts of the beginning of the way the <laughs> art of hip hop began. He's the guy who started it all for us, so for us spinning with him, it's like, you know, that's, that's the thing, you know, that's the thing. He's, that's amazing, you know, he's the guy who got us all doing it. He started way back when it was nothing, he started doing trains. And he's one of the pioneers, you know. Myself, Stay High 149, Phase 2, Super Cool 223, guys like that that actually helped originate the art form and bring it to new heights right after Tacky 183 and Joe 182 helped invent graffiti, period. I always wish that all the people that came along with me from the uh, early 70s to and earlier writers to actually see how this has progressed into this uh, spray paint art phenomena of what you see now uh, over 35 years later. Nash next to me and Pinky on the right of me uh, actually have taken graffiti to such a high level that I look at them as muralists because what they're doing is just so unbelievable. You know, the, the, I guess it's what would be called uh, techniques that they have today. Keep the can a little slanted, pressing the cap just a little, and then when you tap the wall, you just get this little, little, little dot. This is one of the sneaky techniques to use to make the tiny highlight. I did first the black, and then I do the, the, the pinks and the whites for the color shades, and then do black again, and then I, I work out to the last part of the character. Original, I think I did it in 87 or something, or 86, cutting the whole time because I tried to make uh, really difficult pictures and uh, I was inventing how can I get this effect, uh, what's on the picture. So you cannot do it like the old school. In the old school you get the, with a light color you get the, the sketch and then you fill, did the fill-ins and at the end you get the black outlines everywhere. But it's always thick so you get the, this flat characters. Now you, you can do everything with, with, a, with a spray gun. You can make real pictures or landscapes, uh, but you, you have to know how to work with the spray gun. But I very rarely do permission walls because I'm much more into doing a uh, canvas. You know, for me the canvas is much more important because as long as you're doing it on canvas, you know you've actually preserved something through history. I was thinking actually bringing Banzai, Nash, and Tumki to, to New York one day, actually show them all the old hunting grounds and the great spots. But the difference is, <coughs> the spot that Comet and I did, let's say maybe 3,000 trains each of the 5,000 overall, was on this one only underground tunnel in the Bronx. But now I can't take them in to see it because, of course, terrorism. So you have underground cameras that you don't even know are looking at you. And of course, the police uh, in the late 90s or, actually started coming out with night vision glasses. So you go in there, even if you're not doing anything crazy, and you're going to jail, just because of what happened at 9-11.